Morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Hey, what's up, Liz? Peace to you and your family. Chris, my man's joined in. Everyone's joined in. I'll, I'll let it roll for a while. Uh, top of the morning. What's happening, John Lowe? Frax in the house. Rob, Rob Cole. What's the other names? Uh, CVN, TH, John Lowe, mate. What's happening? Ready to die. What's up? What's happening? All right. I'll get... Uh, uh, Chris, do you want to join in first before I do my minute silence, or what do you want to do? Do you want to? Or you want to just join in? Or you want to just join in straight away? This is issues 23, by the way, everyone. Okay, moment of silence first. <clears throat> Uh, on the last episode, uh, after uh, the events, the death of George Floyd, uh, we did a, me and Liz uh, done a moment of silence for him on the show. That night, uh, a young friend of mine was murdered. And uh, we didn't find out, I didn't find out till I think a day after or something like that. And uh, his name is Liam Cahill. You know what I mean, aka Swiss. Rest in peace. It was it was one of the real ones, man. Young kid, 22, 22 years old. Um, I want to say peace to everyone that was at the wall. I got to meet his friends that I I didn't know outside of the crew or whatever, you know. And uh, it was good to hear their stories for him and uh, him being the person that he was. Hold on, you'll probably be laughing now because I don't know how to work the stopwatch, but give me a second here. It's T, all right, hold on. Um, yeah, him him being uh, him being the good dude that he is, he still is, you know what I mean? Uh, he wouldn't want just me to do a minute of silence for him, but for everyone out there, all the families that have lost uh, loved ones and stuff to violence, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, this one's going out to Swiss and everyone else. Everyone and his family, his friends, loved ones, the crew, and uh, everyone else who's lost anyone through violence, you know? So uh, I'll start it now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, see, I've got no clue now what's going on. All right. Okay. Now, this is issue 23 with my man from Boston. Uh, before we get on, I'm going to say peace to Clear Cut. Shouts to my man, Marine, for winning the t-shirt competition that they had. I was lucky enough, blessed to be uh, a judge on that. And, um... Actually... My man from Clear Cut at the Memorial Wall, which was cool. So peace to everyone from Clear Cut. You know what I'm saying? They they always got mad love for my show. What's happening? Pal? What's going on, Haas? Haas Flair. My dude, it's finally. Oh, no, finally. On. We're ready. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me put this volume up real quick. But uh, what's going on, baby? How you feeling, my man? I'm all right, my brother. How are you? How you doing over there? First and foremost, rest in peace. My condolences to your homeboy. And uh, I'm sorry to hear that, dog. I mean, that's uh, 
it sucks, man. It sucks. Um, and uh, thank you very much, man. And uh, thanks for sharing what you shared with me through uh, our messaging and you know, all the people that you lost. You yeah. know, I'm, I'm no dead. doubt. Before, hey, I man, I got a lot of respect for you, man. You're a good guy. Been following you for a few months, man. You're a solid dude. So it was only right, you know. Uh, and I was honored for you to hit me up and to talk about stuff like that. Because, you know. Thank you, you know, man. Just, yeah. I feel the same way about you, you know what I mean? We've been following each other for a few months. And uh, right. it gets to be on my show as well. I was wrapped, you know what I mean? And yeah. that's what I said in the, before the minute song. Like, he's the type of guy that's like, nah, just don't do it for me, you know what I mean? Do it for everyone, you know? So that's why we've yeah, done it for everyone. Right. How's right. Oh, uh, as far as Boston, um, <laughs> well, everything's semi. Uh, well, it's going all right right now. I mean, shit's starting to open up, you know, do, you know, even though we had, you know, we, we went through COVID like everybody else. Yeah. That COVID BS. Eh. But, um, yeah, and then you had the protesters, you know, they still doing that. And, uh, you know, the, the looting and all that crap. I mean, it's... 2020's been an interesting fucking year, I tell you that much, from beginning to to now. Um, yeah. we're, shit, we're like five months in. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's like so I just try to keep positive and just do my everything thing. I go to work and you know, and I I, I you know, I have my interests. <laughs> of course. And you know, just try to keep myself motivated and just do you know, just 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 keep moving and shaking, man. Yeah, you know, fine. regardless of what's going on. You yeah. know. Yeah, it is. But how you do things in uh, your side of the world? Um, I'm, I'm all right, man. The same thing. I, I never stopped working because I work for yeah. like a arts place. So that's deep right. potential, you know what I mean? So it was a bit hectic. Everyone went, <laughs> you know, I won't lie, man. Everyone on the floor was like hating people mm -hmm. in the office. Mm -hmm. but they got to go home and work, get paid. From, but we can't because we're warehouse dudes, you know what I mean? But um, Right, right. Like everything was like told to us, you know what I mean? And, and it made it a little bit better, you know. Uh, my family's been family's healthy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the main thing. And so, um, yeah, man. Just, like you said, man, just push, trying to push forward, you know. My missus got fucked around a lot at the start of the lockdown. Her work, they weren't even telling them anything. And then, yeah, so it, it was a bit of a nightmare, you know what I mean? But um, just, yeah, yeah. you got to keep on going forward, my brother. Absolutely, absolutely. Got to keep going forward. The grind never stops, man. You know. All right. my, now, every, this is the question I ask everyone. Yeah. Uh, what, what was the first shoe when you were little? Mm -hmm. That was like, uh, you know what I mean. That you couldn't have on it. You know what I mean. Like, oh, what was the first shoe that you just not even thought, not made you be into sneakers? But what was the first shoe that you seen as a kid that was like, wow, that's that's sick. All right. I'm going to um, keep it a thousand with you. I, I, I fell in love with shoes at like 11. Yeah. That's when it started to get serious. I mean, I liked the sneakers before that, but I was more into video games. Well, I, I still am into that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Video games, toys, bikes. I was more into that stuff growing up, you know, as a kid in the 90s. But uh, this one particular shoe when I was like age 10, I don't have it, but I wish Adidas would stop playing and bring the shit back out. Uh, the Adidas Power Face. Power Face. Uh, I think I yeah. Know. Yeah, they had a Velcro. Okay. They recently brought them back out, and it was, and it's a part of the, the Yeezy line. They're called the Calabasas. Oh, okay. But the Power Faces came out in the mid-'80s, like 86. And uh, they were real popular here in my city of Boston. Boston is like a traditionally an Adidas town, or was. Hey, you know, really? uh, yeah, the Adidas culture is real big out here. Yeah. You know, uh, same with Detroit. They yeah. take the this thing real seriously too. Yeah, you well, know, oh, Tip Buck uh, seventy five. He's like loves his. Yeah, tip top, yo, tip go hard, and and uh, Ty Mopkins too. You know, what I mean, just to name a few of those cats. You know, uh, you know, top ten is really. Uh, it's like a, it's uh, whoo, it's a staple out there in here, you know. And there's definitely a connection between those two cities, us and them, yeah, with yeah. the uh, with the whole Adidas culture and uh, New York too, sp uh, specifically Queens, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And uh, but it was the Adidas Power Face, um, all black with the Velcro strap. Uh, they had a couple colorways, all black. Uh, they were more like a mid cut type of shoe, 
Yeah. They had a Velcro strap. They had all black. They had all white. They had all red. And they was popular when they came out in like 86. Cats was wearing those out here till damn near, uh, I want to say like 98. Then you didn't see them no more. Then they brought them back out. And like around, they retroed them like around 2002-ish. Okay. And then you see them for a little bit. And then you didn't see them after that, after like 2004. And then they didn't bring them back out again until like 20... 15, 16, when they brought them out with the Yeezy line, because Kanye's been with uh, Adidas for some years now. Yeah, and, yeah. But they brought out the low top versions in different colorways and flavors. But I wish they would bring out the original high or mid cut version with the Velcro strap. I had those, and my mom's bought those for me summer 97. I was 10 years old. Yeah. There's an old sneaker spot that used to be out here called uh, Harry the Greeks. Now, you had a couple of New York cats on here that they'll tell you about Jew Man in the Bronx. Now you heard about Jew man, yes. Harry the Greek from Boston. That was like our Jew man. Yeah, it was a uh, uh, this family. They own this sneaker store in the South End section of Boston, right on uh, I think Washington Street. And um, they've been there since 1950, all the way to like 2000, 2001, and wow. then they closed their uh, stores. And I remember seeing the commercials growing up in the 90s, like 94 to like 97. I used to, I remember seeing the commercials on the um, TV screen. Actually, I posted an old commercial from like 94 on my Instagram. And uh, yo, Harry the Greeks was the shit, man. Like, but they only had like, uh, they had a lot of, uh, all, uh, they had OnStar jackets and all that stuff there, if I'm not mistaken. But they had a lot of Adidas uh, Adidas stuff. Uh, they had Feelers, they had Reeboks and Timbers. They, they did not sell Nikes or Jordans. That was more further downtown, yeah. you, you know, to this legendary spot named Crystal's. It's no longer there. They sold Nikes or Jordans, and you had, like, Foot Locker that was downtown and all these other spots. But Harry the Grease, specifically, they did, like, Adidas, Reeboks, and uh, and Feelers and Timberlands for the most part. And yeah. excuse me, uh, someone's hit me up. I caught him later. But, yeah, man, um, you know what I'm saying? That was my start of this whole the shoe game, man. Uh, yeah. Them joints were sick, man. It's like everybody in the city had a pair of those, and we called those the Yum Yums. For, yep. uh, for a nickname for the Adidas Power Face. We named them Yum Yums, you know? <laughs> and uh, if you're from Boston and you grew up in the 80s and 90s, everybody know about the, the Power um, Face of the Yum Yums, man. So, yeah, okay. that pretty I, much started it. Yeah. Can I ask your wife when you uh, a.k.a. Beantown? How come it's called Beantown? Hold on one second. Um, Hold on one second. Hold on. Your volume's kind of low, bro. Hold on. Say it again. Uh, how come they call it yeah. Hold on. Damn, hold on, hold on. The volume's kind of low. Do you want to jump out and come back in? Yeah, yeah, jump out. I'm going to jump out and come back in, bro. Okay. All right. All right. That's all right. Well, it does that. Uh, I'm talking about Adidas. I got a pick up the other day, the other week. Sorry. And, um, that's an old Adidas forum from 2010. Still in mad condition. Hardly worn. I got the, the dude, the young bloke delivered them to my work himself in the morning. So shouts to him. I paid 50 for him. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Yo, Haas, I'm sorry about that, bro. A homie of mine's called me, so nah. I think that's why the volume was low. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly clear. Yo, those forms are sick, bro, that you just yeah. showed. Them low-top forms? Yeah, yeah. I love the form. Yeah, 2010. I had to ask Kelly uh, what the name was because I never, I didn't know that. I paid 50 bucks for them. Woo! That's a steal, brother. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. And you know me. I love the three stripes, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we got Cali Vegas in us. What up, Cali? My man. Yo, I learned a lot from Cali Vegas, man. Oh, that dude, he is like the professor when it comes to sneakers. He's the knowledge. I learned a lot from that cat, man. Salute to him, man. I'm glad he's here. Cali. Um, have you had any latest pickups during this uh, quarantine? You know what? All right, before I get into that, I'm going to show a couple of T-shirts that yeah. mean a lot to me. Awesome. All right. All right. This is something for y'all Jordan heads out here. 
I love this T-shirt. I had this shit for like almost 10 years. Legendary. Oh, that's mad. The playground right there, Playboy. The playground. Right there, man. This is the 2005 retro of the Jordan Playground T-shirt. You know what I'm saying? From uh, 1989, you know? Mm. And uh, I love this T-shirt right here. Yeah, it's you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I bought this back in 2010. I bought this on eBay for only 26 bucks. Now, you try getting this shirt to this day, no. you're paying at least $100 or better, okay? Yeah. Tell you that much. And uh, got this joint right here. The human joint. Oh, sick. Got the 33 in the back. Man. Yeah, man. Man, I love human. You know what I'm saying? And then this is the drink that I had on in front of the sneaker boutique bodega. Yeah. That I took a picture of. That I had someone took a picture of a couple weeks ago. This is the Negro League shirt. Homestead Grace. Where else? That's mad. And this is the back of it. Established 1929. Yeah, man, I love the Negro League uh, vintage gear, man. From the shirts to the hats and all of that. You remember? Actually, I got this shirt recently, you know? Do you remember the track that Ultra Magnetics did about the Negro Leagues? Huh? Ultra Magnetics. You know, do you remember the song? That's how I found out about the Negro League was from Ultra Magnetics. They did a song, Sid G. And that, and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My, my uncle and my pops put me on that joint. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that joint. Yeah, yeah that joint was crazy. Oh, yo, bro, what's about to say? What was you going to ask me before the, the volume started messing up? I can't remember. Oh, are you yeah. a Celtics fan? Oh, of course. Man, that's the home team. <laughs> Salute. Yeah. The Beantown Green, baby. Beantown Green. On my part. Yes, sir. The, 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 I caught this a couple years ago. Nine, it says 1992 on it. Oh, and cool. it has all the ill rappers and MCs at that time. Oh, awesome. Yeah, man. Uh, and this right here. Oh, man, this is dope. I, I love baseball. Jackie Robinson joint, 42. Oh, that's awesome. Brooklyn Dodgers joint, you know? Yeah, yeah. What are you flavorful? Oh, someone got a Beantown question, huh? What's up, Max 84 What's your Beantown question? No, that's what I... Thank you, Max 84 uh, That was what I asked, not the Celtics. Uh, how come they call it Beantown? Okay. Oh, okay. Yo, I uh, got the Spider-Man joint. You know what I mean? I'm a Marvel head. Yeah, I love Spider-Man too. Yeah, I collect comics when I was a kid. Uh, I got a couple comics left, but I don't know what happened to all my collection from back in the days, but... All right. So, uh, all right, my recent pickups. Shit. Whew. All right. Um, let me see. All right. Start with these Pumas right here. You know, uh, the Palace Guard mid joints. I love the green and white. Huh? The green and white. Black. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, it's very old school, man. Got this right oh. here, bro. The crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I ain't worn them yet, but I'm going to put, I'm going to bring them on the concrete soon, bro. You know, look at that right there. Flavorful, like Craig Mack, flavor in your head. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, some beautiful shoe, man. Um, Been looking at it for a while, man. You know, uh, yeah, definitely old school, man. You know, Puma, they've been doing the damn thing. I mean, they ain't never left, man. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Never, no. Like, yeah. So, got this drink right here, man. Yeah, they're Very dope, right? And I like the low top um, Palace Guards, and I like the Ralph Sampson joints, too. Yeah, that they've right. been bringing back up since last year, man. Yeah. Yo, them joints are sick, bro. You know? But uh, this is one right here. All right. All right, now I'm about to get busy, man. Let me put my cap to the bag. About to. About to get busy. Game, game time, baby. Shit. All right, this is what y'all want to see. All right. Got a Nike box right here. This shoe doesn't get a lot of love like it should, man. And I've been wanting this for a minute. I wasn't able to at the time because I had just moved into my place, trying to get settled in, bills and all that stuff. But, yo, I finally got it. This is one of my holy fucking grills. And I'm glad they brought this back out. The Air Unlimited, baby. That's crazy. The Air Unlimited. Woo! Right there, boy. Beast. 
Right there, boy. Flavorful. You know what I'm saying? Is that green? Yes, sir. It's, it, right. it's emerald green. It's, it's white, black, and and uh, emerald green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? This reminds me. I remember when these came out back in, like, 94. Um, it's funny because this, like, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a, um, a piggyback off the carnivores, the Nike carnivores. Yeah. That came out a year prior to that in 93. I got the carnivores when they dropped in 2010. I got both of the OG colorways, the uh, the emerald green and black joints and the uh, white, black, and reds. I got those two. They're, they're in the bedroom. Um, I'll show those off for another time. But, uh, yeah, man, these right here, the Air Unlimiteds, man. I'm, I'm glad I glad I copped a pair of these bad boys, man. These joints, it's crazy. Uh, David Robinson used to wear these back in the days. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shoot, man. Yeah, man. Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. And, uh, all right. Let me see. All right. Any recent shit? Um, just whatever. Whatever. Right you pump out whatever. Just pump, pump, pump it all. Nah, that's cool. I'll start with what I bought recently. You know what I'm saying? Boom. See that logo? Ah, uh, yes. I'm a sucker for Harachis, man. Oh, my yeah. God. Right. I love how they got the, you know, the Harachi uh, packaging yeah. with the inside. Newspaper looking joints. Got these recently, too. Flavorful, man. Flavorful. Very flavorful. I keep a flavor like Craig Mack. I told you. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know? They're tough. Can't, can't go wrong with these, man. Can't go wrong with these. Uh, I, I like the way they feel. The run of Harachis was always one of my favorite shoes, man. Um, it's crazy, bro. These joints definitely, definitely mean a lot, man. And I, you know, these were like a quick strike, like two years ago. Yeah. And this is one of the OG colorways right here. And they brought a couple other ones, but uh, yeah, I bought these recently, like last month, man. Yeah, they grow. Uh-huh. They mad. Yeah, man. <laughs> definitely, brother. Definitely. Hold on one second. I mean, I caught these a couple years ago. Well, hold on one second. Um, shit, shit, shit. All right, hold on one second. Let me show you something else, man. Well, actually, we got time. <laughs> Plenty of time. Hold on one second. All right, we got another Nike box right here. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up, Fur King the Designer? Hey, My man, Fur King out of Jersey. I see you. I got the. Got the uh, screen green jump offs, you know. Another wow. Harachi favorite, you know. Yeah. Flavorful, man. Very crispy. Flavorful. I, I love that 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 Harachi Looks mad. symbol right there. Man. Yeah. You know, joints is mad comfy, man. You, you can't go wrong with these, baby. You know, can't go wrong with these. All right, let me see. Oh, I got something for y'all. I mean, this ain't no recent cop, but... Oh, no, no. Oh, you yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. Dominique Wilkins. Pumps. Right before the D Browns, man. Yeah. Man. I got these back in 2010, bro. I got these for a steal. I got these for, like, no lie. Like, 55 or 60 bucks, bro. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I love eBay, man. That's why I... I yeah. Flavorful, man. You know, these joints, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, man. You know? They're based. I love pumps. Thanks, brother. Me too, man. Me too. Can never go wrong with the pumps, baby. Can never go wrong. Uh, let me see. All right. Bought these recently. Yeah. Can't go wrong with some of these, Not man. Wait. Nah. Puma just so damn legendary, man. It's like, come on, man. Yeah. You can never go wrong. I mean, I got a couple of Puma sways, but these is one of the ones I brought out because these is my, you know, uh, my newest, latest ones. But uh, I got a couple colorways. I got a couple flavors in the vault. But uh, yeah, man, you know, can't go wrong with these, man. B-boy style, man. It's a classic. Huh? A classic. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I don't care what year it is. Nah, okay. Nah. This, the Shelto, 
uh, Chuck Taylors, Air Force One, hell, the Stan Smith, the yeah. Gazelle. Yeah, the Gazelle. Ron Laver. Uh, all right, what else? What else? Um, they're just never going to go out of style, bro. You know what I mean? The, the, the Nike Cortez, you know, they're never going to go out of style, man. Them silhouettes is going to be around for like eons until we're all gone. Folks are going to be wearing those when we're all, you know? Yeah. Man. And it's interesting to see the sneaker culture in other countries around the world, man. Um, I've been fortunate to do a little bit of traveling, bro. Yeah. And um, I, I, I'm going to get back to it once we're able to fucking leave the country again. <laughs> but um, these right here, I copped these Adidas from Germany last year when I went to Germany in April. I was in Berlin for like a week. And uh, you ever heard of uh, Overkill? Nah, I don't think so. Yo. Is it a store? Or? Yo. Yo, it's a store. But uh, them cats is ill. Yo, Overkill's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Overkill's off the hook, man. You know? This is like an Overkill collab with, uh, with Adidas. Joints right here, man. See that right there, that overkill joint? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Caught these out there in Berlin, man. Off the chain, man. It, it but was... this is like an old school silhouette. You know what I'm saying? Um, the Adidas, uh, let me see. The ZX 10,000s, man. It's overkill crazy. edition. Yeah. Joints is flavorful, bro. Same. And I still got the tag on it, but I'm going to take them out the box soon. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Flavorful, uh, man. Flavorful, man. You know? I, my God, what we doing is much issues. Number uh, what happened, bro? Oh, no, I've just got a question here from Big Striker Promotions. Shout out to them. Uh, they're saying. Okay, shout out to them. Word, word, word. Word. So I do a live on Instagram. It's on YouTube as well. I'll, I'll send you a, a link to the YouTube channel. Shasta Marine. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, what's going on here? This box. <laughs> ah, little surprise, man. Got the strap, got the tag in it. I wore these once, but I love these a lot, bro. Oh, wow. They're crazy. The pressures, bro. The pressures, baby. The pressures. Woo. When these dropped a couple years ago, I had to get a pair, bro. They're insane. I had to get a pair. Flavorful. They're amazing. Flavorful. You know, flavorful. Joint is crazy, man. Joint is crazy. They, uh, it, a man. Mm-hmm. Crazy. How much did they set you back? Woo. These cost about, okay, when they brought these back out, 20, early 2016, they came out around the same time they brought back out those uh, white cement gray Jordan 4s with the night logo on the back. These were like about $300. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, so. Yeah, man, these drinks is L, man. Uh, very flavorful. Man. I, I, I love these a lot, man. Very classic. Uh, uh, very classic. Food, bro. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. And, and I love the box, too. The box is insane, man. The box is crazy, man. Got this right here. You know? It's crazy, brother. I mean, it's a 1989 classic right here, man. These, these joints right here, man. And I'm glad. And I also, I was amazed when they brought these back out. I wanted to get those uh, command forces, the, the Billy Hoyle joints that came out a couple years ago. You know, um, I'm still on a hunt for those. I'm gonna eventually get those too, man. You know. All right. So, coming up next. Ah, I got something for you, Haas. All right, let's have a look. This was a collaboration. Well, it's an old silhouette of a classic shoe from back in the days. So, um. But this is a uh, uh, collaboration with Mita. You know about Mita, right? Mita, you know, they, uh, I think Mita is a Japan company, like Atmos. I haven't got a clue. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Don't just flavor, man. Flavorful, man. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? These are the, uh, 
He's right here, the Reebok ass tracks, bro. Let's see. All right. Thank you, brother. Sorry, I had to... Reebok ass tracks, man. They're mad. You know what I'm saying? They came out last year, man, last summer, around August. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Mita did a joint with Reebok, and uh, yeah, man, this is one sick colorway, brother. I got these a, a month ago. Is yeah. that you get them from the U.S. or from Japan? Like sent from Japan? Oh, no, nah, these I got. Um, I bought this from a buyer from the U.S. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah but this is definitely a Japan exclusive. But, you know, most yeah. likely you're going to have a couple of cats who's going to be able to get their hands on them. Yeah. You know, a couple of resellers or whatever the case may be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you know how that part of the game goes. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I got these a month ago, man. These joints are sick, bro. I love these joints right here, man. To me, the joints. Yeah. Yes, sir. Flavorful, baby. And, you know, got, you know, different style laces that come with it. You know? All right. You know what? Show you something else. Ah. Since I'm a Bostonian, legendary shoe right here, man. Oh. Top 10, man. Crazy. Can't go wrong with a pair of these, bro. Nah. Can't go wrong with a pair of these. Legendary. Adidas is like Air Force One and Nike, man. You know? Oop. It's... it's... Oh, They're crazy. Huh, what happened, bro? Yeah. Yeah. These joints is, man. You know? Can never go wrong with a pair of top tens, brother. You know? Yeah, they're <sighs> clean. Thank you, my man. Thank you, my man. Like All right, and uh, this shoe, this shoe right here, I discovered. Uh, okay, Karu, you ever heard of Karu? Oh, I've seen them, man. They, they make some shoes, man. Yo, I first heard. I, I didn't know nothing about these, right? Nah, nah. Karu, I didn't know nothing about these till 2016. Yeah. Uh, I took a trip to Europe. That was my first time going to Europe, and I did five days in Amsterdam, five days in London. And then I remember I was up in the um the Pada store. You know about Pada, right? Yes. Yeah, I was up in the Pada store, me and my boy. And then uh, I seen these crazy sneakers on one of the employees' uh, uh, feet. And I'm like, yo, what are those? And he was like, oh, man, this is a, a Finland brand called Karu. I'm like, what the hell? Finland brand, huh? He's like, yeah, they've been around for years. They're very big over here in Europe. And stuff like that. I'm like, yo, I never heard of these. And they was just insane. Then he showed me on a wall. They had them on a wall. I'm like, yo. <sighs> Fell in love with these ever since, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've seen those. They're killer. The OG uh, Synchrone. Uh, hold on. Yeah, the Synchrone Classic, man. And this is the original colorway of them. Amazing. And they brought these back out 2016, man. Uh yeah, Karu's been around since like the early 1900s. I didn't know about this particular shoe brand at all, man. And uh, I fell in love with them when I seen this in that store and on his feet, the employee on, on one of the employees' feet. I fell in love. I had to get me a pair. I didn't buy them there. I didn't buy them out there. I bought them when I came back from over there, and I bought them online. And then I just fell in love with these ever since, man. This is a very comfortable shoe. It's very slept on. Actually, uh, we recently had a Karu store. The first car roof store that came to the U.S. was like two years ago, like 2018 yeah. or 2017, two, three years ago. And it was here in my city, well, in a city called Cambridge, which is in the Boston metro area. It's across the way from my city. And um, th there was a car roof store in Harvard Square in Cambridge. But I'm not sure. But when I went to visit the lady that worked there, she was surprised that I knew about it. I'm like, yeah, I already knew about it before it even came to the U.S., you know. And then... Um, we started talking about the brand and the history of it. And, um, yeah, I don't think it's no longer in Cambridge no more. I think they might have moved the store. But, yeah, it was interesting to see, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, they Kyle Roo's dope. Man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, this is rough. Oh, yeah. And uh, another shout-out to Cali Vega, man. Uh, I bought these two years ago. Uh, um, <laughs> he was the reason why I went and copped these, man. And, uh, oh, whew, Today, you guys are oh, going to have a battle. Like, yeah. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I had to get me some LS, man. It's funny because I used to call these Elise, but I'm pretty sure everybody did that. Everyone. You know? Every, the, yeah. The, 
came from, you know, I, I, I right or Europe, you know, exactly. But they're LS, man. So, uh, yeah, I remember, yeah, I, I caught these two years ago, and uh, these joints are sick. This is uh, this was a collaboration of an old silhouette with um, with Packer shoes, mm. yeah, it's tough. <sighs> Christ. Man, that green, white, and gray, sick, man. Yeah. Very sick. Man. So I got to shout him out, man. He was the reason why I fucking cop these. And yeah, Fur King, yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yo, these are Lee's. He's a, yo, I mean, the LS, my bad. These joints are crazy, man. Dude, it's like... You know? Yeah. Top flavorful, man. man. Flavorful. Very flavorful, man. Yeah, man, I had to get a pair of these, man, you know? And uh, I'm all about just just uh, diverse originality, man. Not just the same, you know, I, I, I can't just some subject myself to just one brand, you know? There's a lot of stuff out there that I got, you know, there's a lot of brands out there with different heat, man. Exactly. I can't just subject, huh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, shit, that's what it used to be about back in the days, man, because a lot of brands back in the days. Everybody was in competition with each other. Everybody had fucking heat, man, you know? Okay. You know? But nowadays, it's like people just subject themselves to just one or two brands. But it's like me, I like them all, bro. You know? I like them all. Yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I love the doors. Mm -hmm. The S8000s, man? Yeah. Crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These joints is dope, man. I got these about uh, two years ago as well. I first wore these. I I went I I uh, I went to Paris, October of 2018, and I wore these when I went to Paris, man. I brought these to fucking Paris with me, man. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, I was rocking these in the streets of Paris. Joints is mad comfy, man. Joints is flavorful, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. They <laughs> Yeah, Diodora, man, you know, made in made in Italy, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, they ain't never went nowhere, man. They, they, it's a sleeper, man. Cats don't know, man. Yeah. Cats don't know. Okay. You know? Hey, talking about Cali Vegas, yeah, it was before, it was, uh, mm -hmm. before my birthday, my partner said, oh, I'll give you $100. For your birthday, and I go, all right. And then I was searching on Facebook, yeah. Right. He was advertising a pair of Sergio tennis shoes from the 90s, yeah. Ah, that's crazy, bro. For 60 bucks. So, um, I, that's still 60 bucks? Yeah, and I, I told my partner, I go, instead of giving him 100, I, I bought these for 60. She goes, all right, cool. So I showed a picture to Kelly, and we couldn't see the signature on the side of the shoe, right? Mm hmm. Like, oh, I've never seen them, you know, and they must be, if he's never seen them, like, you know what I mean? And then um, they came, yeah, and I sent Kelly. Mm -hmm. And there was a tennis player from Spain cause, called Sergi Baguera, and this mm. was his <sighs> two. Woo! Woo! Bro, sick. And I said, I go, wait, and, it, and Kelly told me um, the story, but uh -huh. I wore them once on my birthday, and we watched Cold Crush on video, me and my partner, but I... Uh, Classic Cold yeah. Crush. Um, he Sampras was leaving Nike to go to Nike, and then Sergio mm -hmm. was a Spanish tennis player. I think the highest accolade he got, uh, he won. He beat Jim Curry on the '93, I think, French Open. But that he had mm -hmm. had one shoe. Cali Vegas said, and he had, mm -hmm. and that's why he told me. He goes, put it this way: if I haven't got the shoe, he goes, it's red. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Mm. I was just lucky that I got, and the tag's still on it. So I'm just guessing. They were the kid's dads, and he, mm. you know what I mean? His dad never wore them, and like, because I, I wore them, like I said, I wore them in the house once. And yeah. Because Callie said, he goes, just, you got to watch the midsole, you know what I mean? He goes, you can wear them if you want, but if, if the shoe breaks apart, then you've lost the shoe, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Unfortunately, that's what happens with a lot of vintage stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially if it's well preserved, you know what I'm saying? And you want to really rock it. It's so yeah. comfortable, man. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Man, those are sick, bro. Those are sick. Yeah. See, that's what I mean, man. Now that's heat right there, man. 
<laughs> you know? That's what not he. Is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Jordans is cool. I got a couple myself, but I like different I like shit yeah. that no one really cares about, you know? Well, that's why Kelly said I'm going to show you something. Mm -hmm. I'd be one of the only people with that shoe. Like, he goes, so, like, you know, take care of it, you know? So I, I was like, yeah. that's the first ever signature shoe I've got that was actually made. It's not mm. a shoe, you know what I mean? Like, it came out when the dude wore them, like, played tennis in them, you know? So I, I, I'm rapping. Oh. Yeah, it's like a grab. Thanks. Yo, that's tough, bro. That's tough, my brother. I got something else for you, man. Oh, look it up. Here we go. Another Adidas joint, Addy color joint. And, uh, oh, woo! You color in? Mad. Stan Smith joints, man. These are the Megatron editions, man. Hectic. Oh, wow. These came out back in like 2006. I caught these a year ago, bro. They're insane. Tron. See the Tron? Yeah. I love that movie. First time I wore these when I went to Berlin last year. When I went to Berlin, I brought these over to Germany with me. Flavorful, man. Oh, yeah. Flavorful. These drinks is crazy. The inside's dope, too. Yeah, they're killer. Thanks, brother. Ah, right, man. Yeah. Flavorful, man. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Very flavorful, man. Um, yeah, I'm all about just versatile stuff, man. You know, very versatile. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, yeah. Got some beans for you, man. Can't go wrong with some New Balances, man. One second. Oh, yeah, they're nice. 1300s, man. This yeah. is probably my favorite New Balance, uh, New Balance silhouette, man, the 1300, man. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, people, in the comment section. Thank you, Fuzzy. Yeah. Yo, appreciate it, y'all. They gone wild in the comments. I cop these back in uh, 2014. Came with this tag, made in the U.S. Yeah. New Balance. Yeah, man, these joints is very flavorful, man. Comfy as hell, too, man. I've only Yo, ever New Balance, they be doing them thing, huh? I had, I had one pair of New Balance when I was younger. My parents got, they were like, mm. they were dad, they have dad shoes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. They were white yeah. legs, dad, New Balance, and that was it. My, my partner hates New Balance. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, a lot of folks really don't care for them, but I don't know, man. I love New Bees, man. They, they... Yo, they're just super comfortable, man. And you could wear them like every day of the week. Like you could wear them to look fresh in, or you could wear them just to go out and handle some business. Like they're just dope. It's just that type of shoe, man. Yeah, I had the. You could just go on and just leave out the house, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, of course. Look out. Had to do it, man. Had to do it. Yeah. Classic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You could never go wrong with the original fitness joints right here, homeboy. Yeah. And people don't understand, Fila was major yeah, at one yeah. point in time, especially when it was being made in Italy. Yeah, yeah. And they were expensive back in the days, correct? Like, Fila's was like, a lot of money. I want to say Fila was worth more than some Nikes yes. back in the 80s, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, especially the velour track suits and stuff. You know, you hear Cali mm -hmm. about the story. Mm -hmm. It's still and and when Cali and when Cali talks about tennis culture, mm. I think of one of the, this brand as one of the the forefronts of that tennis culture, man. Tennis. You know what I'm saying? And people tend to forget yes. sneakers was called tennis uh, shoes once upon a time ago. So he's a thousand percent correct when he was like, it was really tennis that really orchestrated this whole culture that we love, you know? Hey. I mean, yeah, ball, hip-hop, and all that played a part in it, the streets, whatever, but that came later. It yeah. was really all about tennis, bro. Yeah, People yeah. need to do their research and, and do their history because Cali is a thousand percent correct, man. Uh -huh. And yo, feel it, man. They're hectic, man. You know? Yeah, I had to get a pair of these. I got the white and black joints, too, but uh, I like this navy blue colorway right here, man. It's yeah. definitely, uh, definitely flavorful, man. All right, let's see what I got for you guys. See what I got. Oh, okay. Mm. 
Anything that's OG Knicks colorway, I love it too, even though I'm a Celtics fan. But I got to give it up to the Knicks too, you know? Woo! Oh, yeah. The attitudes, baby. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't, can never go wrong with a pair of these, man. Yeah, you know? And uh, I like how they did them because when they would draw, okay, the, now this is the 2014 version. This looks just like the uh, OG from like 86. And I remember when they first brought out the attitude in like 2001 and two, they made them like this with the line and right here. And they looked just like the 86 joints. Yeah, yeah. Then years, they would bring out the attitudes in this colorway, the next colorway. They didn't have this. I noticed that they didn't have that. And, uh, and I was like, yo, something was missing when I copped the pair back in like 06, 07. And I'm like, Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Fa uh, faces. And, uh, but when they brought these back out in like uh, 2014, I'm like, yeah, man, that's, yeah, <sighs> crazy, man. Yeah, they crazy. Can. Oh, yeah. And uh, speaking of a uh, uh, Nick favorite, hold on one second. Yo, Hewan had some dope shit when he was with Adidas, man, you know? Whew. My man, Fur King, I know you got him, brother. The rivalry, bro. Yes. Woo. The rivalry. Oh, yo, Hosh, your uh Oh, whatever. Nah, your 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 uh screen went blank, brother. How do I get it back? Do you know? Or? I'm not sure, but your screen went blank. Mine's is still on. Yeah, yours is on. Hold on. Uh mm -hmm. oh. All right, there you go. There you go. I'm yeah, man. Sweets. That's why. Oh, no, nah, that's all good. Can't go wrong with the rivalries, bro. Uh, Very sick, man. Very sick. I love these joints, man. When I, it's uh, funny, man. Yeah. When I, when I got these, I showed Kelly, you know, I go, oh, I paid 50 for them. He goes, oh, they OGs. I go, no, nah, I got, I got, and then uh, he said, oh, you should just get some brand new rivalries for $50. And I'm like, oh, nah, I go here. I go, mm -hmm, I go, Thirty dollars. He's like, "What?" He couldn't believe it. And then I showed him. I screenshotted the Adidas website for here. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get over it. He was like, "I go, yeah, that's the big difference. Like, it's like seventy dollars. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Yo, yo, you'll be surprised what you find, man. You know? Oh uh, man, I'm always on a hunt for some heat, man. But if I could get some heat for like a steal, like oh, what you did. 100%. Oh no, nah, these are the rivalries. Uh, Dead Stock Just the rivalries. But the conductors are dope too, though. I never got a pair of those. I've always wanted a pair of those. Um, let me see what else. What else I got for you? Shit, I got so much shit. Stay <laughs> right there, man. Hold on, I right. got this for you. Woo! Look at that socket. All right. Now the backstory to this, right? When I got these Sacconis, they did not come in the original box that they came in. So I ordered a box on eBay, an empty OG box, right? Just so I could put them in. Because I like to keep my shoes in box, you know, keep them in something. Yeah, yeah. So I ordered this OG uh, original Sacconi box from the 80s. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and I put the shoes in this box right here. Because I didn't look at the, uh, I didn't look at the listing when I bought these off eBay that they didn't come with a box. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, these joints right here, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's, man, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Super comfortable. These are the, um, Shadow 5000. They're crazy. Yeah, man. Very flavorful, man. Yep, indeed a classic, Fur King. Facts, brother. Right. You, shit, you know what time it is. These joints. Joints is dope, man. Yeah, they're crazy. Joints is dope, man. Yeah, uh, uh, Sacconis or Sockety. They're just dope, brother. Oh, I like their shoes. Yeah, me too. Me too, man. Uh, definitely a sleeper, bro. You know? Definitely a sleeper. And uh, I got these Pumas here. Y'all cats love a couple, I think it was a month back.
Yeah, the conductors I'm missing from too, man. Because I got the rivalries, I got the uh, attitudes. I just need the conductors too, as far as a, a Adidas human line. I'm missing those as well too, bro. It's funny you said that. Damn man, cool mistake, man. These the diamond, uh, the diamond collaboration joints, man. You know. You know, joints is flavorful, man. And then uh they're crazy. Yeah, these joints is definitely sick, man. I like the black ones that's like these that came out. These came out like what two years ago, I think. Yeah, these joints are sick, bro. Very sick, man. Very sick. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks, Dead Stock Just. They're inside. Yeah, man. <laughs> flavorful, brother. Very flavorful, man. You know? Uh let me see. What else I got for y'all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see. Asics, baby. Can't go wrong with Asics, man. I love Asics. Joe like threes, man. But yeah, they're nice. I like those. Very comfortable, man. You could never go wrong with a pair of Asics, man. You know what I'm saying? I got these back in 2010, man. Damn and man. I've gotten so many compliments. So many compliments for these, man. You know? That's a Cats were little these. Cats would literally stop me in the street. It was like, oh, my God, what the fuck are those, you know? You know? All right. Let's keep this going. Another Adidas box, of course. Got to love my three stripes. These are the FYW joints, man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. See that symbol in the back? It looks like Bart Simpson a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have these brown ones um, when they first released that, uh, and had the mm. with the tag on the key, the key ring as well. Yes, yeah, sir. A classic from like what ninety eight, I think. Something I don't know. Yeah. I had like these mountain running ones. I gave them to my cousin Goran because he gave me a pair of, of uh, flights, you know. So then I. Just... Dude. Yeah, man, these joints are crazy, brother. These oh. joints is crazy. And the inside is just as dope too. See that? See that inside? We can. Flavorful, man. Flavorful. Oh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a two. <laughs> oh, we will. We will. Cause I didn't. I mean, I brought out a good amount of stuff, but not everything. Another Adidas box. It's a, a old, a old Adidas box. The forum, baby. Oh yeah, there you go. The tag's still on it. See, look at that right there. Look yeah. at that right there. Whoo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Black and silver. Yeah. This is a legendary shoe, man, that's very popular in my city, man. A lot of the old heads used to wear these back in the days, man. The forum. Yeah. Been around since uh, 1984. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, I got a couple forums, but... I bought these a couple months back, back in uh, November-ish. Yeah. yeah. And this is from, like, 2005, actually. Man. I got these for a sale. I got these for, like, about 70 bucks. Awesome. Yeah. This joint is crazy, brother. This joint is crazy. All right. Yo, yo. Nike box right here. Yes. Can't go wrong with the Vandal. Oh, definitely a snapped on sneaker, man. Yes, sir. See, Deadstock know his shit. Yeah. Every Adidas, B ball. Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, got these OG Vandals right here. These came out, they brought these back out a couple years ago, like 2017, I think. And, uh, Yep, the form were a hundred bucks before Jordans, bro. Yep, exactly. You know, and, uh, yo, Vandals are hot, man. Vandals is like a skinnier version of an Air Force One, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Sick, brother. Sick, sick, sick. And, uh, all right. Is what just before uh, um, we have to? What happened? I'm enough to do more. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. No doubt. Oh, matter of fact, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, 
Yeah, man. Of course, you got to have these in the vault. Oh, yeah. They're bringing these back out later on this shit. Yeah. <laughs> Haas. Haas. That's, yo, I wanted that colorway. I always wanted that colorway. I slept on them. I, yo, I always wanted that colorway. I, I remember I was going to get those some years back. Yo, but uh, this is the 2015 version. This is the 20th anniversary yeah. of the OG Neons from 1995. They're bringing them back again later on this year. I'm going to have to get another pair of this colorway. Yeah. Um, yo, thanks, Dead Star. Yeah, follow me, brother. And I'm going to have to get another pair of these. This year, it will be the 25th anniversary yeah. of the uh, 1995 MX95 classic colorway. You know what I mean? And, uh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yo, Hewen got some ill shit, man. He don't get enough props like he should, man. You know what I mean? Whew. Oh, yeah. Kill up. Man, I remember these was on. Uh, I remember, I remember the rap group Gangstar. Rest in peace, Guru. Yeah, you know DJ Premier Gangstar. I remember Guru had the humans on in the album cover of uh, Welcome to the Arena, and then in their uh, their music video just to get a rap, the homie Little Dash from Group Home, he had these on. Yeah, yeah. When they was gonna run up on the dudes, that they was gonna stick up, and. Uh, when they brought these out, man, oh, my God, I had to get this colorway in particular. I had gotten the beef and broccoli joints, but then I ended up selling those. But these, I'm holding on to these, man. Yeah. These was popping. I, I'm glad when they brought these out in 2012, I was like, yo, human, fire, fire, fire. You can never go wrong with this, man. Nah. Look at that. Man. Flavorful, man. I mean, it's, it's just insane, man. Um, but, y'all, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. I want to show you. Yeah. Probably like two, three more stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll stop and I'll go back in. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's, do, let's that. do that. All right. We'll go back in. Yeah. All right. Me and Haas, we're back. Dude. All right. Yo, when they brought these, okay. Now, where well, I pick off that, like, I, I, who I got so much shit, yo. <laughs> yo, Haas, I'm not trying to bore y'all, man. I got some shit to show. We're going to have to do a part two, though, bro. We're going to have to. Yo, when they brought these out in 2013, I had to hop on them. What a shoot. Not in my house. Matumbo, bro. You can't go wrong. Come on. Flavorful, man. Flavorful. Yo, this right here, I think this was so... Well, it was definitely popular. There was a hype when it came out, but I think it died down, but it definitely slept on. Yes. You know? Yeah. I slept on, yes. Bro. And they did such an amazing job when they re re retro these, man. Yeah. They you know? Cats forgot about these, brother. Truly. Truly. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, not in my house. Yeah. You know? Flavorful, bro. Fuck. Flavorful. I love these so much, man. I remember um, the Wu-Tang entered 36 Chambers. If you look on the, um, the picture inside the, the, you know, the little booklet that comes in the CD, Ray Kwon. <laughs> Furkey says, stop showing off. Ray Kwon, the chef, he got these on, bro. He yeah. got these on. Oh, I got my cousin Loyal on here. What up? What up, cousin? All right, Loyal. Hey, yo. Yo. Yo, bro. Raekwon the chef got these on on that uh on that picture for the Wu Tang 36 Chambers joint. 1993, man. Matumbo's, man. Matumbo flavor, brother. Matumbo flavor. All right. Now. Now you know what these are. Oh, sorry. Now this right here, this right here is definitely a classic, man. Um, I got about three of these all together, but you can never go wrong, you know what I'm saying, with a pair. Shit. Oh right, man. You can never go wrong with a pair of these Wally Clarks, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got the Master Wu-Tang one. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I remember as a kid seeing the ad all over the city, man, especially in the neighborhood I grew up in, the ad for uh, Ghostface's uh, Iron Man uh, album back in 96, like the spring or summer, and him, Capadonna, and Ray just standing around, and they got all the, the Wallys on, on the table and stuff. Yo, Wallys was a uh, fuck. Yo, this right here, shit, this is legendary, man. This is legendary. You know, this this goes back to like what the sixties, uh, but so Cash was like, but yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, man, Wally's is dope, man. You cannot go wrong with a pair of these, man. I got two other colorways too, but yeah, man, that, that can't go wrong with the Wally, man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Hold on, one. Yep. We can. can never go wrong, man. Wally's is just it's just flavorful, man. Yeah. Uh, hey, yo, how's the, uh, yeah, 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 shoot, you got a question? What's that? No, nah, I thought you had a question, my bad, bro. I thought you had a question. Uh, hey, yo, how's the shoe scene, uh, so how is, like, the shoe culture, where are you from out there in Melbourne? It's, it's big, it's big, I miss a lot of it because, you know, running around the streets and stuff, but, um, mm -hmm. now it's a lot, a lot of the young or TNs and stuff like that, but, but, but Back in the days, beauty culture here, uh, the classic shoe would be the ones, the F original ones, mm -hmm. eh, and then when the nineties, the infrared nineties, boomed. Like that's my partner's favorite favorite shoes is the Air Max One, the eighty seven, mm -hmm. and the Air Max Nine. Mm -hmm. Here in Melbourne, mm -hmm. Melbourne, mm -hmm. if, yeah. Like if you had them on, like, yeah, you, you were into. Pop or graffiti, like a hundred percent. Like you know what I mean back then, you know. And, Definitely. Uh, but it just depend on, on on what you did, you know. Well, in my area, right. people wore like uh, Linda was like a lot of wogs and wog culture and stuff. Like they wore a lot Work. of like a lot of, like, a lot of soccer related sneakers and stuff. Like a lot of the mm -hmm. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, it, but mm -hmm. as the hip hop culture here, it was like. You, it's got to be like I'll be lying if if I did, if I didn't say Air Max ones and nineties. You know what I mean? Oh. They, yeah, uh, Air Max is definitely a staple, brother. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Like a drug dealer shoe as well, especially the dubs. You know what I mean? Like that was like right. <laughs> no doubt. But Air Max is big here in Mel, like hundred mm -hmm. percent. Yo, it's crazy about Air Max. Well, Air Max is big here too, but it's really huge in like the UK. Oh yeah, and even like that part of Western Europe. I mean, when I went to the UK for the first, actually, when I went to Amsterdam and London back in summer 2016, I'm like, yo, I was amazed at how much, how big Air Max was. I mean, Air Max was always big, but like here in the US, it's like, you know, more of like basketball sneakers that was popular or cross oh. trainers. But over there, like strictly runners, man. A lot of people um, like basketball, Jordan pumps, like everything was like like um, heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a lot of people mm -hmm. love. Yeah, but um, mm -hmm. yeah. as far as like graffiti and stuff like that, hip hop, I, I think your classic shoe was it was the Air Max. You know what I mean? Like, what's up, guys? Yeah, mm -hmm. like especially. And then when the Paris came, like this this shoe here is sort of flavor. Air Max flavor. I mean, like, it's yeah. like people go wild for this. You know, I've got this. Mm -hmm. like, he had it stuffed in his in his drawer for like how many years? You know what I mean? So I bought it off. He didn't even know it was like uh, hard to get this, but um, right. He paid seventy five dollars from the outlet for these. Wow, that's flavorful, man. I bought them for hundred. Oh. Like um, the bubbles are still killer. I know how to take care of the bubbles, but um, mm. yeah, I think, mm. yeah, especially in the hip hop scene here, like the graffiti culture, it was it was. Mm. Now it's more TNs and stuff like that. It depends how old you are. Right. For our age, it's, that's right. It's someone that's young now, everyone wears TNs and you know, yeah. wins back and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But it's on the that's other right. Or Jordans, pumps, Adidas, like every, like you know, a lot, a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, sick, sick, brother. Yo, yeah. yeah, Air Max definitely dope, man. I was amazed at how over there it's like a whole culture. Like Cash was wearing the the track suits, the hats, the outfit, the go with the shoes. I'm like, yo, that's dope. And I ain't gonna front, man. I took a little bit of that and brought it back here, man. Cause yo, I got a couple of Air Max hoodies and hats, and yeah, man. I mean, I always like the Air Max even since back in the days. But yo, I. I grew to love it and appreciate it even more since yeah. my trip about uh, four years back, four years ago. So I got these right here. 
Ooh. These nice SMGs, man. The uh, Terra Hamaras. They're crazy. Yeah, they brought these back out in 2018. This is an original of the uh, 97. I think they came out about 97 or 98. Yeah, man, these joints are crazy. I've always liked the D's, man. Yeah, the Terra Hamaras, man. I'm never seen them, man. Yeah, man, I bought these in Paris. I caught these when I was out in Paris, man. You know what I'm saying? Back in uh, October 2018. You know what I'm saying? These are just flavorful right here, man. Joints are sick, man. Joints are sick. Oh, yeah, I got some OG stuff I want to show you, too, man. Originals. For real. Hold on one second. Well, first things first. Speaking of Jordan, old Jordan box from 2000. And I got the ones that came out in 2016 when they started remastering, but. All right. All right. Of course, that Nike brand and the back that everyone loves so much. Yeah, these are from 2000, man. I bought these in 2010. They're still in good shape, but of course, I can't wear them because, you know, yeah, cracking. Yeah with the midsole and all that, but I just kept these as collector's item and they come with the, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. original art over here that they used to do back in the early 2000s. I was able to wear these at least like twice before they start the, you yeah. know, crack or whatever, but I do got the 2016 ones. I had to get those when they dropped with the with the OG stamping in the back, oh. you know what I'm saying? Definitely a, pe definitely a piece of art. Uh, Locky 97 for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flavorful, man. Flavorful. <clears throat> you know? Boom. Tss. Flavorful, man. Tss. One one more, my oh, What do you reckon? I got you. I got you, brother. <laughs> I got you. Actually, two more. Two more. Two more. 100%. You don't oh. see these boxes no more. Yeah, look at the box. From 1993, I believe Barkley wore these. Old card right there. Ready for this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Flavorful, man. Flavorful. Flavorful. Come on, man. Come on, man. I does this. I does this. Crazy. Cass I does this. Look at that right there. You know? Whew, I would love a retro for these. I would love a retro for these, but we'll see. Yeah, man. These joints right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Flavorful, man. Definitely, brother. Definitely. Whoo! And, uh, also got these over here for you. All right. Definitely don't see this box no more. Mm. Oh, hold on one second. All right. Ta, Fur King. From 97, man. Boom. Oh, look at that. Phone, man. Wow. Phone posits, man. I also got the royal blue ones that came out, the the royal pennies that came out uh, 2017 as the 20th anniversary of them, and I also have the 2011 royal uh, penny ones as well. But uh, I love the phone pods that I always have. I remember, oh. I remember uh, Mike Bibby phone pods as well. Remember Mike Bibby had these on back in the days. He had the royal ones that uh, that Kenny had on. I'm mean, no that Penny had on. He had the royal ones when he was playing for Arizona. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, Hosh, you know what's up. These are 2018. Fire. I remember those. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you got the 60. Yo, yo, I still got my 64 too. That's crazy. Yo. Phone pause at once, man. From 97, bro. 1997. Oh, man. They still look good, man. Still look good. Flavorful. They need to bring back out this old G all black colorway, man. I remember Jesus Shuttlesworth, a.k.a. Ray Allen, had the white, the pearl ones on, on He Got Game. Um, just one more, man. I, I know you want limited time, brother. One more, one more. This is an OG classic that's going to make y'all spin. 
Oh, yeah. ACG legendary, man. The Wildwood brother. Flavorful, man. Crazy. Flavorful. You know? Flavorful, man. Yeah, man. I'm just a regular nine to fiver who just loves kicks, man. You know? Uh, uh, it's just it's just been my thing since I was a kid, bro. You know? Just love sneakers, man. Just the whole sneaker culture. Yeah. Huh? Thank you so much for joining me on uh, Issues. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Thank you for having me, man. You know, we, we've been talking about this for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to do it. That's why I do it, man. I do, I do it. I, I love it. You know what I mean? Uh, I love it. I love sneakers, man. My family. I love my family, my loved ones, and then. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man. It's just something about shoes, man, that just kicks, that just, you know, it's, it's like art, man. Kicks is art, man. You like know? It says he goes sneaker place up the world. You know what I mean? Especially if this is this is what it should be used for social media. You know exactly. What I mean? exactly. And then it brings us together, man. Where That's you're from, where I'm from, Melbourne. other cats around the globe. We have the same mutual uh, love for this, man. Right, and this is, you know, for the true people who's really into this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, yeah. Exactly. Not the bike shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. The hype BC and nah. Nah, they give the, the the game a bad name. I could go in on those people all day, man. But that'll be have to be for another video. <laughs> Thank know? you, so much, man. And you enjoy the rest of your weekend, my brother. Thank you, man. Much love, man. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be doing a part two, man. Just let me know when and when and what time and when, man. All right. Hey, yo, yo, bro. So, uh, you gonna save this? Yes, yes, yeah. It goes right, back cool. to TV now because it's updated. So now it goes to IGTV. But um, yeah, my my. Friend, Friday, he he grabs the videos and then he gives it back to me and I ended up put it I put it on YouTube also. All right, cool, uh, awesome, awesome. Can't yeah, world. Thanks a lot, hey man. Appreciate you for having me. Thank you for everybody who who tuned in, man. And uh, thanks for the love and support, man. Come follow me, you know, Chris Nelly fifty three. And uh, and for those who who know, who follow me, that's on here. Follow my boy Haas Flair. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hundred percent. I'll follow always back. All right, All right. peace out, my brother. Peace. Much love. All right, then. All right. Once again, thank you to everyone watching. How are you, Annie? Come in. Come in. It's all good. Little Annie. I did show these. I haven't showed these on the show, so I will show them. These are 2018 Penny Ones. Um, the pinstripe. That. What else did I pick up? I picked up off this dude. Ah, what's his name? Can't remember his name. Got this as well. What's up, Chase? Look at that. This is old school man. It's killer. It's got you got the first stuff on the back there. You know what I mean? This is hectic. You know, I love this man. This is like OG. I got that. This, Delivered to my place to, you know, I've got the leather to match it as well. You gotta have the leather one. You know what I mean? Boom! I've showed that. But um, thank you everyone for joining me on episode twenty-three with my man Chris Neely from Boston, and uh, give him a follow, Chris Neely uh, number fifty-three. It's all one word, I'm pretty sure. But um, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you very much. I'll see you at work, Jason.